One Piece is a beloved classic anime released in 1999 produced by Toei Animation. It featured Monkey D. Luffy, who assembled a crew on a journey to find the One Piece and become King of the Pirates. He traveled across the East Blue to locate members to join his crew and defeated cruel and heartless villains who were in his way, helping innocent townsfolk who were under their thumbs. And it's still going on. One Piece has accrued over 1,000 episodes, making it the equivalent to almost 3 Bleaches, 4 Dragon Ball Zs, 5 Naruto's, and 25 Death Notes. Even the East Blue arc of One Piece has 61 episodes, which is plenty enough for a standalone anime. Given that One Piece is the world's longest anime, unless you count Pokemon, many people are turned off from watching the show in the first place. And that included me. I said I would never watch One Piece due to the sheer length of the series. I mean, who would have time to watch such a thing? I, would. I recently quit my job, and due to living with my parents, I had a lot of free time and a low cost of living. So I decided to try the most ridiculous challenge I could think of. Can I watch every episode of One Piece in 30 days? The rules were simple. I had to watch every numerical episode of the show. In my case, it was 1 through 1016. No unofficial episodes, no movies. This meant watching filler, including episodes that were nothing but flashbacks. And believe me, those were painful to watch. I had to watch each intro and outro once. Skipping them saved a lot of time, but to get the full experience of watching the show, I had to at least watch the new ones when they came out. I also had some special techniques to help me with the challenge. I would watch the dub until episodes ran out so I could give my eyes a break and it would be easier to multitask. I would also meal prep as much as I could so I could just pop a lunch or dinner in the microwave and I wouldn't have to spend time cooking. Though occasionally I may settle for a sandwich. I live streamed every moment of it for proof. Link in the description to the playlist. <laughs> And I used Hero so people could watch along with me with their Funimation account. And I also used Live Split to show what episode I was on for each moment. I was planning on watching each episode for 14 hours so I'd be able to take a day or two off, but, well, that posed to be a problem. I quickly found out that getting out of bed on time for this was going to be more difficult than I thought. My sleep schedule was already out of whack, and I was running on 5 hours of sleep for the first day. Oh, dude, I feel like I could fall asleep like this. This might actually be a bad idea. I still watched it for 14 hours the first day, though. I also decided to make recap TikToks for each day I did the challenge. And needless to say, it helped that I really, really liked One Piece. I was tired as fuck. I was running on like five hours of sleep and I watched this shit for 14 hours. Dude, wow, what an anime. One week in and the physical toll was starting to get to me. I haven't been sleeping well and I haven't been getting out of bed on time and the emotional heights of One Piece were adding an additional level of stress to me. While the show was very enjoyable, Feeling the intense emotions really used up more energy that I couldn't afford to spend. Yeah, you fucking deserve it, you piece of shit. My days started to be cut shorter. I couldn't watch for 14 hours per day like I wanted. Instead, I realized I needed to average 12 hours per day. Still a difficult feat, especially if I needed to cut short early for something like meal prepping. But it was a much more manageable target. It just meant that I had less room for error, and I couldn't take a full day off anymore. Man. You all are relentless. 500 followers? 538? What, there was like... It, when I went to bed, it was like 485? and It was climbing quickly, but... I did not imagine that it would grow nearly that quickly overnight, so thank you. 
the journey was growing more difficult physically. The anime was still very captivating, aside from being stuck watching filler and long stretches, but another thing that was keeping me going was the new burst of people noticing my challenge on TikTok. Many of them joined the YouTube livestream to pitch in their support, and some of them even marathoned the episodes with me. This influx of more viewers, unfortunately, meant some people would ruin the fun by dropping spoilers in the chat. But even though they spoiled the moments, I didn't let them ruin the experience for me. After all, they may have spoiled the event, but they didn't spoil the context. And seeing how it happened was more important anyway. It was around this time that the physical toll was becoming too much. I grew past the willpower part of trying to sit still for each episode, but sleeping was much worse because of insomnia. I thought having trouble falling asleep would be the end of it for me. But I decided to give it one more day, because I was so close to finishing Dress Rosa. For those of you who don't know, Dress Rosa is the first extremely long arc in One Piece. It had 118 episodes, meaning this arc took me four days of straight binge watching to finish. This arc took a whole two and a half years to complete. So at the very least, even if I wasn't going to complete the challenge, I was determined to finish Dress Rosa. I asked my friend Andrew, who's a bit of a fitness junkie, if anything would help me with the insomnia. He said that I needed more vitamin C and D, so I drank some orange juice in the morning and changed up my formula by taking a walk in between binge watching sessions. This helped dramatically. There's something magical about sunlight and exercise, and even just taking a 20 minute walk made all of the difference in getting a good night's sleep. So regarding this challenge, the MVP was the damned sun. Praise the sun! Its wonderful UV rays will bless you with the ability to get better sleep. Some way, somehow, I completed this journey. And my TikTok peaked like crazy toward the end of the challenge. People were seeing that I was so close to finishing One Piece and the vids were catching on fire. I went from 150 followers on TikTok to over 3,000 followers. The last day was also special because they had a special episode for episode 1,000 and for 1015 which was absolutely gorgeous, it looked like a movie. It was some of the most beautiful animation I've ever seen in my life. All I had left was one more episode, 1016. I'll let my past self finish off this journey with a bit of a speech that I gave once I finished the final episode. It's not too long ago that this idea was just a concept. Just a mere idea that was so ridiculous and i was questioning like could i even feasibly attempt this what would my friends say what would my family say if i told them oh i'm just going to i'm just going to spend the next month watching a show uh, over a thousand episodes of a show to a to a, a an actual unhealthy amount And I was nervous. I, I, it would have been very easy to, to dismiss it. If you have an opportunity, seize it. I thought about quitting once. It was day 21. Uh, it was probably like my third day in a row with insomnia. And my frustration of not being able to fall asleep. And that, then I decided... That was like right before I finished Dress Rosa. I was like, okay, go one more day, finish Dress Rosa. See how you feel. Just take it, just do one more day. One more day. Even if you don't beat the challenge, just go one more day. And uh, that's when I changed up my formula and I started, instead of trying to sprint, I really did treat it like a marathon where, you know, I, I started taking those breaks midday. That was the game changer right there. That made things so much easier. I want to thank everyone that was here with me. I mean, I would have done this 
even if I did have zero viewers, and there were many times where I was doing this stream and I had zero viewers. To see all the people that uh, showed up along the way meant a lot. I'm ready for a well-deserved break. <laughs>